In this video, I'm going to address a nagging pain issue that I've seen a lot over the past couple of years, and that's pain underneath the right shoulder blade for a right-handed golfer. You'll either feel it at the top of your backswing or at when you get to a complete finish. And the reason why that happens is there's two different joints that are taking place there. So you have the, the shoulder joint and you have what's called the shoulder blade, or some people might call it the chicken wing. And what that chicken wing's job to do is to protract and retract the shoulders. So its main job is to pull the shoulders back and bring the shoulders forward. When you have tightness in this rotator cuff, this is called external rotation of the shoulder. So that's when my shoulder is going back. Some people, we look for 90 degrees. That's kind of our test. That's our, our, our standpoint or our standard. And then if you can get more, that's great. And some people will try and get more by arching their back, but we don't want that. We just want the free motion of the shoulder. So what happens is when we're trying to get the club on plane, some instructors will tell you to get your elbow down, which is hard for a lot of people. And the main reason is when we try and get the club on plane, we have to get that right elbow in. If you come in right elbow out, if you have tight shoulders, it could be causing you to come out over the top. So if you try and force that move, what happens is if you don't have the range of motion in this shoulder, that shoulder blade that's only designed to protract and retract is trying to move more than it needs to because the shoulder won't move, so it's trying to make up for it. So what we need to do is get more stability in that shoulder protraction retraction and then more mobility in that external rotation of the shoulder. That's going to help with that pain and get rid of that pain so you can swing freely and probably a little bit more on plane. Okay, the first thing you want to do is see if, if I'm right or if, if this is an issue for you because you may have pain for another reason, but majority of the people I see this is the reason. So first thing we're going to do is you're going to put your arms straight out in front of you without arching your back this way. You're just going to pull your shoulders back without bending your elbows and then push them as far forward as you can go. So I suggest looking in the mirror because what I see is, as I see most of the time when I have somebody do this, their, uh, their shoulders come up because they're using the trapezius muscle up here and they're not using the right, the rhomboid muscle that's down here to protract. So they're not using the muscle first, so that shoulder blade kind of is stuck. So we want to make sure we get that range of motion and then I'm going to show you two exercises that are going to help you with that shoulder blade. Okay, first one is just working that range of motion in the shoulder blades. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the, your knuckles, your second knuckle, and put it right against your temple. And from here, without arching your back, you're just going to bring your elbows together in front of you and then go back as far as you can. I suggest using a wall so you know if you're, if you're going back far enough, you're hitting the wall. And then come all the way forward and all the way back. That's going to get those shoulder blades moving like it should and just freeing it up just a little bit. That's a great way to start. Now, if we want to get some strength involved, we can use a band or a cable for this one. So what you're going to do is you're going to anchor the cable or the band at chest height. You're going to step back for good resistance and then you're going to bend your knees, push your butt back just a little bit so you don't get pulled forward. And then from here, you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Remember to come down and not up. You want to feel like you're coming down. So first move is squeeze the shoulder blades and then pull your elbows as far as you can go. Whenever you're doing this, I'm sure if you've seen some of my videos, I've done this exercise a thousand times on it. You're going to keep a loose grip. You're going to pull down back with your elbows as far as your elbows will go. You don't need to, to pull your wrists like this. So you're squeezing your shoulder blades together and pulling. It looks just like this. That's a great exercise to build that stability in the shoulder blades in the back. Now that you've built some stability in the shoulder blades, we want to make sure we work on the mobility of that external rotation. So just by bringing your shoulders back, you're going to move your external rotation a lot better because joints work better when they're aligned properly. So if your shoulder was like this before you pulled it back with the shoulder blades, it's going to move better. So if your shoulder's forward, it's not going to move as well as it does if it's neutral. So keep that in mind when you're working on that mobility. So using a golf club, you're going to take the face of the golf club and put it in the palm of your hand with the shaft coming out by your thumb, just like that. And then you're going to put it behind your elbow 
and then from here, we're going to grab the bottom of the, the, the club, and you're just going to gently, not too hard, gently pull up on this, giving you a little bit of a stretch in that external rotation. There's no reason to grip the club real hard because anytime you grip hard, you're not going to go as far as you would. So breathe, pull up gently, and let that stretch. You want to avoid leaning back because you can get a lot more range of motion or it looks like you can if you lean back. So keep your back flat, pull, pull gently, and allow that to stretch for about five to 10 seconds. You can do up to 10 repetitions with that one. That's a really good one that you can do anywhere with a golf club. Next one is pretty simple. You're just gonna get into a driver posture. You're gonna put your elbows in tight to your chest or um, to your stomach. You're gonna bring your hands together and then you're gonna throw them out and squeeze your shoulder blades as far as you can go. So you're gonna come out, squeeze, hold, and then back in. Out, squeeze, hold, and back in. So you're going out as far as you can go and then back in just like that. So that's going to help you. That's going to give you more of an isometric stretch on that shoulder blade. And then the last stretch is for the lat muscle here that has a lot to do with that shoulder mobility. And the more you can get that looser, the, um, the faster you can get mobility. So I like to use the, it's called the TRX strap for this because it, it gives me free range of motion. So if I can't, if I can't um, go straight up over my head, I can still go out here. But what you want to do basically is walk forward without arching your back and get a good stretch in the tricep here, and then also in what's called the lat muscle. So if you feel this on top of your shoulder, there's probably a good reason that you have some impingement in that shoulder, or um, those muscles just aren't used to contracting because they haven't been back there very much. So you're just gonna lean into it, hold for about three to five seconds, and then come out of it. And if you don't have a TRX, you could use a cable, if you have a cable or if you have a band, you can anchor it up high and then all you're doing is putting your, your arms straight and then you're coming this way. I do think hand position is important. You wanna try and get your thumb back or your pinky finger forward when you're stretching that muscle there and then just stepping into it, just a nice light stretch, hold it for five to 10 seconds. You can do up to 10 to 15 and you always wanna do both sides. If you don't have a band or a cable or a TRX, you can, if you're tall enough to reach a doorway, you can use the top of the doorway. Um, those are, that's a great way to get more shoulder mobility, lat mobility, help with that pain that's in your back. Hey, so if you're someone that is coming over the top or has pain in that right shoulder, or your instructor's told you you need to get your elbow down a little bit more to get your club on plane, those are great exercises for you to do. And this, although I've seen it countless of times over the last couple of years, one of our new app users was, was explaining he has that exact same pain. So that was my inspiration to make this video. So if you're suffering from any pain or anything that you feel is caused by your golf swing, let us know. We'll shoot a video on just exactly how you can address that or make that better. All right, until next time, I'll see you again. I'm out.